Hi guys, my crew here. This is my From Scratch Week round off video. This video includes how much I made in total during this week. I did upload my video every single day showing what I got every day, but this is just a total of how much I had in gear, in cash and all of that. So let's get into this video. At the end of the week, I had quite an optimal gear setup and I'm very, very happy with how my gear ended. I also had 95 mil cash, two spider leg pieces, two fangs, the barrows die and the offhand shadow glaive that I use for the many demons. All of this adds up to being a lot of money. So let's get into a breakdown of how much I actually had and how much everything was worth. But before I do that, it was time to make some scythes and see how much money I can make with the fangs. The scythes were worth 203 mil each and I bought the legs for just over 160 mil. This means a fang right now is just under 43 mil. Both of my fangs then were worth 85 mil which is really really awesome. I also sold the offhand shadow glaive for 5 mil. Looking at the breakdown of the week, the gear that I was wearing was worth around 315 mil. So everything that you can see on screen on my worn inventory came to around 315 mil. That doesn't include the perks and the augmenters and stuff, that just includes the gear itself. After selling everything I had 187 mil in cash. I also had the middle spider leg and bottom spider leg. A full spider leg is 160 mil at the moment. This means that each spider leg is 53 mil each. So these two spider legs alone add over 100 mil onto the price checker. Then the Barrow's Die as well is another 150 mil. So as you can see here, I've got over 500 mil just in cash and gear alone, and then the others are just bonuses. I'm going to go into a little breakdown of how much money I made on average and stuff right now. My total GP that I made was 503 mil with the cash and the gear. I also had those two spider legs and the die. This then takes my total GP up to 778 million. I found a couple of supplies and stuff in the bank that would have counted towards the total GP as well, so that's why it's 778 million in total. With the 503 mil, the two spider legs, the die, and a couple of supplies. This would make my average daily GP for this week 111 mil. My average time I spent per day doing this was 12 hours. Bearing in mind, every time I was doing voiceovers and stuff, I was AFKing and making money, so that time is included here. Normally I would have spent about 9 hours actively playing the game and about 3 hours making the videos and rendering it all together for you guys. This would then make my average hourly GP 9 to 10 mil GP an hour. This is taken into consideration spending 12 hours a day for 7 days. If we did take out the spider legs and the die from this equation, I still would have made a good 7 mil an hour or so just from all the consistent money makers and then the fangs from racks and the raids and stuff I did. So even if I discounted being super lucky or discounted the spider legs because they're not actually money until I get the last piece, I'm still making a good 7 mil GP an hour. But when I am counting the two spider legs and the lucky die, I made 9 to 10 mil GP an hour consistently this week, which is absolutely amazing to me. All of the consistent AFK money makers really do help tick over alongside doing some flipping here and there and then doing the big money makers like Araxor and Clues. My goal was to make 500 mil and I blew that out the water and made 778 mil in a week. I tried to show off as many unique methods as I possibly could and hopefully everyone enjoyed those unique methods and had fun testing them out themselves if they did. The next series will be my Hardcore Iron Man bossing week but I will release a episode of the Hardcore Iron Man before actually getting started with the bossing week so everyone can get caught up on that series. That's it for this series. I hope you did enjoy this week long one and you look forward to the next one. Do give the video a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new for loads of future content all related to RuneScape 3 and until next time. See ya.